Hey guys, this is Getsumara, and welcome back to Let's Play Heavy Rain, or Chocolate Rain, whatever your kind of drink is. Rain water or chocolate milk. But anyways, in the last episode, Ethan took a glass of poison, or drank it to go save Sean because he made the ultimate sacrifice, to sacrifice himself to save his son. You might be wondering what that drink was. Well, it was, um... Concentrated batty skittles or fail skittles, and drinking a concentrated bottle of that will in fact kill you, because you'll suffer so much fail that your organs will fail and you will die because your organs failed. Sounds simple enough. Yep. And of course, Jaden um got pissed off by Blake and sniffed tripto like it was a f fucking shot of whiskey or like a uh, sandwich, and he hasn't eaten days. I don't know, but holy shit. Anyways, um, we were looking for the, the, the killer, and so far, uh, at the Blue Lagoon, he was wearing a gold watch, and if you remember in the beginning of the game, like the second time we used Jaden, the go only lieutenants who were on the police force used a gold watch as a retirement present. And then we found the gun in the Blue Lagoon, and it's in fact a cop's gun, and five to ten years ago, that cop was taken out of an investigation. And then we found two gas receipts, which, um, mean the killer is in this vicinity. I wonder how we could figure this out. Um, no, we already checked that out. Check that out. Uh, let's see this. Looks like the killer is a cop. Carter Blake! Blake didn't kill him. Have you seen the size of that killer? He was a fat guy. Ethan Morris. This is America. Or rather, I'm Canadian, but in America, most of the killers, or like half the population, is fat. No offense, but... Well, Canada is pretty bad, too. Yeah. Let's actually analyze this. Anal analyze... Oh, we can't. Alright, let's try to G-analysis it. Cop. Only one cop lives in There's that only area. One cop in that geo profiling zone. Gotcha. Alright. Well, he if you find the killer the for Jaden, you're supposed to get a trophy, if but. I'm wrong, Mars is dead. My recording fucked up. So, I unfortunately, I don't, you're not gonna see me get the trophy along with another one that I'll get. <laughs> but you know what? Let's go find that son of a bitch and tell him who's boss. Or show him who's boss. Of course it has to show Blake. I just want to kick him in the face or something as we leave. Take that monitor and just hit him in the face because he glares at him as he leaves and he just watches. He's like, what is he doing? It's almost like Blake could know who the killer is. So all this. Yeah, I've never actually seen this scene before because, you know, I watched my streams. Look, it'll only take a couple of days. Long enough to get Lauren died in them. I can't just wait while you confront my son's killer. It's the only way, Lauren. Trust me. Now go stay with your mother for a few days, and I'll come and get you when this is all over. Tell me who the origami killer is. I want to know who killed my son. Oh, by the way, if you don't know who the origami killer is Listen, yet, when I'm done, I'll tell you lie. everything Your, I know. Uh, deducive skills are that of, like, a child. But yeah. Oh, don't kiss her. Oh. This is disgusting. A hooker, a hooker and a fat cop. Like the guy of King of the Hill says, the biggest mistake of your life, marrying one of your hoes. But, nothing more is disgusting than a love between a hooker and a fat cop. Ah! Apparently we're back to the shepherd house. Oh well, yeah, we were supposed to get help because we can't pull him up. Because his leg's caught. The water's rising. I'm hurrying. I'll be right back. Oh, wait, let's go find him. Sorry, I had to yawn. Hold on, bro. I'll find someone. Then we'll come back and save you. Mom's work is too far Sounds away. Like he's a bit. I'd never make it in time. This place is completely deserted. There's no one around to help. Gotta find Dude, someone. run faster than that. The still rising. You run like a retarded child. Long. He 
to get help fast. John's gonna drown. John's gonna drown. Dad, I've gotta get Dad. He's the only one who can save John. I've gotta move. Well, let's ask, ask this drunk bastard if he can help us. Dad, Dad, it's John. He, he fell into a pod. Oh, He's get dying. out of here, you little bastard. Leave me You're a disgrace to Irish men. Irish drunks in the least know what they're doing when they're drunk because of how their liquor tolerance is. And holy shit! I like I scrapped last recording because right here there's just like a huge lag and frame skip. I don't know why it lags there. This is the second time I'm doing this, so it's there, like it or not. And if it's not actually there in the recording, then high fives all around, but we can't save him. All we can do is sit there and watch our brother die. Don't forget about Chris So, his name is Scott Shepard, or Scotty Shepard. Again. If you don't know who the killer is yet, you are an idiot. This is so sad, watching your own brother die in front of your very eyes. And all I can do is sit there and hold his hand and forsake whoever it was. Or rather forsake, not ugh. Forsake just why this happened. And again, this is why your parents tell you don't run around in a fucking construction zone. Because shit like this can happen. So, remember, don't play in a construction zone and- Oh, not now. Not now. But, it's all out in the open, you son of a bitch. I don't want to see those tears. Put them away, you fucking asshole. Scott Shelby is the origami killer. Ugh, let me plug in my controller, sorry. But, Yes, if you haven't, there's many clues that show this. The rain caused him to have bad asthma, and each time we were that little kid, he was wheezing in the rain. Also, in that fight scene, he was wearing the gold watch. But I hate those eyes when he's looking at the fucking match. Why'd you do it, Shelby? It's because you're trying to pay back fathers to see if they're, they actually love them because yours didn't. Yours was a drunk who didn't care about his children, so your brother died because of that. So you test them, you see if they can go through hell and back just to save their son. And if they do, they can have him back, or if they don't, they die, or if they give up, it's just left like that. <sighs> I'll admit, it is a little, it's, it is self-righteous, but it's horrible. It, 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 like, at the start, it's self-righteous, but it's just murder. Now we're looking back at all the incidents that we've gone through as he tried to solve the case. Of course, he can't solve it because he's the killer himself. So let's take a look at this. Ugh. Oh. Um. Oh, that's the book at the Blue Lagoon, or Blue Lagoon. But we get to see Paco, the weird-looking Mexican, die. Although, like, this part, I don't really care about that. I, I have no uh, love loss for Paco. Kind of glad he's dead. And you can see his face and that body structure and the watch say it's Scott Shelby right there. And this is the thing uh, Lauren collected. So he was the one who killed Manfred after all. But damn. Way to kill him. Kill him with his own work, but hit him in the back of the head with a typewriter. I'm not gonna lie, that's just bad. That is just fucking bad. <sighs> and then you call the cops and wipe the prints. And I can't believe I forgot to wipe the prints on the door. The most obvious fucking place, and it's like, oh, maybe the door won't matter. Of course it was. This game pays attention to detail so hard. It's more anal than the freaking gay guy's glory hole. I don't know. And I think she's dead there, because I can hear like a flat line, but he went to visit his mother, finally, after all these years. <sighs> God. I just don't know what to say. 
Scott Shelby. You son of a bitch. I can't believe you did all this to all these people and you dumped their bodies in the barren wasteland. You son of a bitch. I hope you feel some regret staring into that fire. And we're back to Madison Page, apparently. And God damn it, I dropped more frames. I really, really, really hope nothing happened with them. I really do, and if they something goes wrong, I still apologize, but there's nothing I can do about it. But anyways, we're out of time, so next time on Let's Play Heavy Rain, um, I'll try to stop the killer somehow, so see you then.